Have you ever pondered the prevalence of premature ejaculation, or PE as it's commonly known? It's an issue that affects many, often cloaked in silence and misunderstanding. Today we delve into the process of diagnosing PE, unraveling the mystery step by step. The journey to diagnosing PE often begins with a conversation with your doctor. They may probe into whether the issue has been a lifelong one or a recent development. They might delve into the intimate details of your sex life or your relationships to gain a clearer picture. Next, a physical examination typically ensues. If your doctor suspects that emotional issues might be the culprit, a referral to a mental health professional may follow. However, if a physical problem seems to be at play, a specialist called a urologist who deals with the urinary system might be the next stop. Treatment options are varied. They could begin with counseling. A psychologist or psychiatrist can help unravel problems such as depression, anxiety or stress that could be contributing to PE. Other treatment routes could include medication. Although no drugs are specifically approved to treat PE, some medicines used for other purposes could be beneficial in some cases. They include antidepressants, pain relievers like Tramadol, and medications for erectile dysfunction. An alternative to pills could be anesthetic creams or sprays. These are applied to the head of the penis to decrease sensitivity. They must be washed off before sex to prevent loss of erection or sensation for your partner. Home remedies also offer potential solutions. Behavioral techniques that help control ejaculation can be tried at home. These include the start-stop technique, the squeeze method, and even distraction during sex. Strengthening pelvic floor muscles through Kegel exercises, wearing a condom to reduce sensitivity, or engaging in self-pleasure a few hours before sex can also help. In summary, diagnosing PE involves an intricate process, beginning with a conversation with your doctor, possibly leading to a physical examination, and potentially resulting in referrals to specialists. Treatments range from counseling and medication to home remedies. With the right approach, overcoming PE is possible for most people. Remember, it's a common issue and there's no need to suffer in silence.